Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of It's Your Grade. In this video, we're going to learn how to name ionic compounds that involve polyatomic ions. And to help, I've created this little kind of guide to help us learn how to name polyatomic ions. So the first thing you want to do is you want to identify the charge and the name of the polyatomic ion. You'll then want to identify the charge and the name of the metal. And then you simply write the name of the metal. So two plus one, and you write the name of the polyatomic ion. So as an example, we're gonna look at this um, ionic compound where we have NO2 represents our polyatomic ion. And this is known as, uh, we'll look at the charge first. So that's NO2 minus one. And this is known as nitrite. If you remember, nitrate is NO3 minus one. And then our metal is simply um, Na plus, which is known as sodium. So together, this is simply sodium nitrite, very straightforward. The second example, we now have iron. And if you remember, iron is a transitional metal. And transition metals, you need to figure out what the charge is based on what they're paired with, which is why I've designated the first step to always be to identify what your polyatomic ion is, what its charge is, and what its name is. So this is known as SO4 minus two. This is sulfate. And it has a minus two charge. There's only one iron atom, so iron is Fe plus two. And if you remember from previous videos, whenever we have a transitional metal, we have to use a Roman numeral. So the metal name is actually iron and then the Roman numeral two that indicates the charge of the metal. So for putting that together, we have iron two sulfate. Another example, this one is a little bit more complex of a polyatomic ion. And I'm not sure, I don't think I've gone over this one in a previous video, but it is on a list somewhere in your textbook of polyatomics that you should know. This is Cr2O7 minus two, and it is known as a dichromate, sorry because there's two chromiums, hence where the di comes in. So dichromate. And we have uh, Li plus one. There's two lithium atoms, but this is not a transitional metal, so we don't need to worry about Roman numerals. Um, knowing the charge is just so you know how many lithium ion atoms there are. Uh, so Li plus is simply lithium. And if we put it together, you have lithium dichromate. So that's polyatomic ions with a metal and polyatomic ion. What happens if you have two polyatomic ions? And I've told you in a previous video that there's only one positive polyatomic ion that you have to remember, which is ammonium. So my question stands, I'm gonna do this in blue. What if two polyatomic ions? Well, it's really simple. You just have to name each polyatomic ion and put them together. So if you have NH4, NO3, for example, the NH4 is NH4 plus. This is ammonium. 
And NO3, this is known, so NO3 minus, this is known as nitrate. So together, we have ammonium nitrate. And that's all I have for today's video on how to name ionic compounds that involve polyatomic ions. I hope everyone is having a good start to their semester, or maybe you're just refreshing how to learn uh, naming ionic compounds. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment if you'd like to know or if you have a recommendation for a future chemistry topic for these videos. And I hope everyone has a great time learning chemistry.